Yeah, I know I shouldn't be pulling this apart, but uh, yeah, Pandora's box. But it's got to get done. I would like to get this truck bolted together. Don't have to be run. Actually, I sent the trans out last week, week before. The 700 that's going in here. Uh, I got a message from the um, trans guy. Hey, you know, so I'm asking him, I asked him, I says, hey, how did my trans go? And how bad is it? And he says, so far it needs a converter and a stator. So he's going to get back to me if it needs more. So it sounds a little expensive and we may have to go get another, a good core. Because I knew that thing was beat, but not that beat. Right, let's see what we can do here. Wow, there's a lot of rust in this upper piece. Just got to be careful I don't break this windshield. I'm surprised somebody put a windshield in here and being in this kind of condition. There's no way this thing rotted out that fast to the point where they put this windshield in with this compromised seam. I can guarantee you that. I'm going to go around the other side. I can't get this door open. It's stuck and I don't really fight for it right now. So I'm just going to carefully try and push this windshield out. Please don't break the brand new dang windshield. But a couple years old, I don't think. <sighs> oh Lord, why do I do things like this? But <laughs> let me get inside the truck. I don't want to lose my knobs and my screws. Hey, I've been looking for these little tip cleaners for months now. Well, I'm hoping. No oh boy. It's caught on the sill, so. Oh, man. This is going to be a good move. Don't breathe on this thing because it's ready to fall out. Okay. Whew. We're not out yet. All right. Whew. Come on, girl. All right. Now I got to put her in a safe place. Don't get banged up. Bent, dropped, dropped on, and smashed on this big pile of. Car covers. Yes, car covers. Okay, so the lower pinch weld looks pretty good. Come around here, a little more rust, a little more rust, a little more rust. Oh my. Yeah. Uh-huh. She gone. Yep, she gone. So, the replacement panel, it just should be right, right here. Yeah, that's not bad. That, I got that on nice and easy cut this out this piece here gets replaced I guess with this lip I don't know I have to look it up and you cut it here and you replace this whole piece I guess I don't know if it comes with this or not you might have to peel that off I'll have to watch another video and then I think you cut it somewhere here or here I don't remember I think this comes with it but it might be here and you replace this whole piece across here and it's like 200 and some dollars but hopefully it gives you enough of this so it's bad that's a shame. The worst part of the truck is that. Overall, the truck was in really good shape. But you can't have it all, so we're going to get working on this thing and uh, we get some parts ordered soon. Well, hello there. Maggie Mayhem. Well, back from uh, Beaver Springs. It's Monday. Had very little sleep. Had a good time. Until I uh, dropped a valve. In the old 377 top of the valve broke off just below the below below the keepers mainly valves still I don't know many many comments and uh, I don't know opinions on where they're made anymore so I'm not disappointed I'm not gonna bad mouth manly or nothing it is what it is we'll figure out we'll get to the bottom of it so that means I gotta Swap the motor out if I want to go back to Ireland for 
our guests are finale, which I got maybe two weeks, not even. So, I'm kind of milling around today after I unpacked everything and uh, I'm like, you know what? I could start on something today. Well, at least get some stuff ready. Maybe I'll start working on a Project 64. Hmm. So, yeah, uh, put the radiator support on. So I dug out the inner fender wells. They're not perfect. Somebody painted them, cleared them. That's got to go back if I want to race in two weeks. That needs to go to the track before the end of the year with a fresh set of belts in it. Ugh. Too much stuff. It's like a maze. Got that to finish painting. And there is a brand new radiator support for Project 64. I have the mounts. Don't mind my, yeah, safety shoes. Been kind of milling around all day. So I'm gonna put the inner fender wells on, mount the radiator support, and uh, see if these headers are gonna fit. I don't think, I think I'm gonna have to cut the bottoms of the inner, inner wells to get them headers and I know I got to cut this I remember my one video I know I have to saw that off but I'm gonna try to get this front end bolted on since the body is pretty close to being set I can still maneuver it around they give you plenty of big hole right here and around the body go over to the top but I'm gonna get this thing bolted together even if it doesn't run get some tires on it so at least I can move it around otherwise now I got all kinds of stuff going on this place is a dump it's eating me up I gotta restore that Packard heater and uh, get that running. I need push rods. Take that to the track. I did finish this neat little defroster six volt blower motor today. Cleaned it all up and painted it for that Packard. I don't know why. It's my OCD, ADD got the hold of me. So I don't know. Yeah. I guess maybe I'll start on that. Okay, so I threw some bolts on here. Not the prettiest things in the world. They're still dirty. A little scratch. There's some rust on it. There's some filler in it in the front and the back. But it's a driver, so screw it, you know? Um, yeah. Header definitely taking all this out of here. That's gone. The other header I had to push through there. This is all going to have to come out. Probably from here on around. I'll have to uh, mock them up later, but... Maybe not too much, but I want to get this radiator support in next. I just want to mock this thing up and get it close. I do have to order this seal that goes back here. There's a dust seal and it comes down and there's a wide piece and it just keeps all the trash out of here. So, like I said, I'm just mocking this up for now and uh, order what I need as I go along. So let me see if I can get this radiator support in. everything like a little loose so you can make some adjustments down the road just put the fenders on no it's just gonna line up until you work your way around the truck around the front end that is these I have to run a tap through some of these I think some of these reds are a little banged up or something this isn't American made uh, stink uh, steel so I mean, this was on a truck, but that don't mean anything. Hmm. I don't know. We'll try to get this thing somehow. How that works is use a Phillips head screwdriver, a number two. Looks for a good alignment tool. Help get you started, but this thing here is twisted. This, this inner fender well. It's fighting me to the very end. Wow. If I can just get this started. is I'm afraid to pull this one out of here pull this out of here and lose my alignment wow she's she got lots of spring to her not saying these fender wells are any good could be cracked let me see if I can pull it that way nope huh not good 
Okay, I'm not going tight with them. Those two are done. Now I got to do the ones across here on this side. Um, oh, but there's supposed to be a rubber seal in there too. Huh. I don't know. I can't tell. I have to look. Let's see if there's staple holes in here. Usually there's just staple holes on the inner thing. I'll figure that out later. Let me just get this thing mocked up. I'm kind of uh, getting ahead of myself. These little clamps are very handy. And I got my number two in here to line the first one up. Hopefully gets the other one. We're just going to have to pull them together. Okay, that side's pulled together except for the very top one in here. I can't see why. Oh, can't see in here. Oh, there is no hole. I guess i got to drill that one out. They might have filled it because this looks like it's been replaced. The other side is blank. See, they got a piece of metal over or something's broke off in there, so I might have to drill the other side. There is a nut on the back side of here, so there was one, two, three, and four. So, yeah, I guess you find stuff out when you find, you know, I know there's filler in there. It's where they all rotted out. They didn't want to buy new ones. I don't blame them. There's filler up there, lots of metal. I mean, it looks pretty good for what it is. I'm not going snow plowing with it. Just going to cruise it. It's a driver. Do you uh, approve of this, Maggie? Okay, that part's on. I just gotta do these bottom bolts on both sides because these are not drilled out. That's all snugged up. I got these snug because I know I'm gonna have to move stuff around. That's probably gonna get shimmed. Depends on the fenders and the cowling. Um, I don't wanna put none of the cowling back on yet. I gotta cut in all the fenders. Even though I could fit that stuff, but. Um, I actually gotta cut in the the grill shell and all that stuff the grill's painted but yeah i'm gonna have mixed paint and that's gonna be another day because it's toward the end of the day it's starting to look a little damp out there and the sun went in and i got some stuff other stuff to do so uh i guess we'll so con con ugh, blah, blah. what do you think yeah i think this will conclude today's assembly yeah huh okay you think so all right goodbye this uh, front header piece off up and uh, this was a replacement piece too but it got kind of beat up it's got a bunch of dents here I'm gonna see if I can get somebody to, to knock them out and fill them and do the line over again it sucks because it's like a really fine line there where the body of lines are and that corner over there behind the headlight was waffled I had to actually take a hammer and dolly to that there's a spot there I gotta knock that out but it just kind of playing up there for now so I got the fenders here there are aftermarkets too so they're clean I gotta cut some stuff in too so I think I'm gonna do behind the grill white like the other truck I don't know I'm up in the air on that everybody says yeah some people say no I think the white grill gets lost but my 66 don't look too bad I guess if I letter the grill and put all the stuff in there uh, time will tell. I'll sleep on it. Oh, gotta clean this place. It's a mess. Whoa. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. FedEx guy was here today. We've got Auto Metal Direct. Things a floor pan for Project 64. Hmm. Let's see. I'm running out of tables around here. I got more junk. I got more junk in here. In fact, today I'm cleaning this place up, making room. Got too much going on. Today's goal is not to cut myself on these staples. Ah, wow. Come on. Oh yeah. I see sheet metal. Oh, I see small parts too. Alright. And in a rocker. Oh, look at that. I think I know what I'm working on today. If I, after I clean this crap hole up. And floor pan. With the tow board. Let's see what else is in here. Here is 
rubber seals that go between the inner fender wells, the cowl, and the, or the, uh, um, the firewall, and the radio support. I think that's it. Ooh, stickers. If I can get them. Everybody loves stickers. Two hundred and some dollars worth of parts, and I got a free sticker. Two free stickers. Hundred dollars a piece. Oh, that's it. All right, now we're good. We've got parts. Um, hey, look at that. Cancer and reproductive harm. Well, I don't plan on making love to it, so I don't know why they put this stuff on here. Not supposed to suck on your parts, lick them, make love to them, whatever they do. I, I don't know why. Damn California. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me uh, get this place cleaned up, and I think we're going to start on uh, putting some pans in 64. Well, hello there, Maggie. This just in also. Yes. Hydraulic flat tappet lifters for the 305. Look at that. Pre-COVID, pre-BS, pre-Chinesium pre metal. Hopefully they don't wear, wipe out. They shouldn't wipe out, because all the new stuff today. $200 for a set of lifters. What happened to 68, 70 bucks for a set of cheap lifters? So, you know, I bet you I could sell these on the on the black market for really expensive. I'd probably get 200 bucks for these, maybe 350. <laughs> now these are going in this 305 with that brand new uh, 488 cam we discussed. Uh, I cleaned up the deck a little bit last night, washed out some of the crap out of this thing clean the push rods and i gotta just do the bolts but uh yeah this is where we're at so far maybe we'll, if we get to this tonight i just want to work on that over there i don't know what do you want to do maggie hmm you just want to eat we just had pizza you can get no more you know somebody called you fat the other day and that's not good all right well let's get a few things done all right so here we are project 64 gonna get rid of this mess now, the only thing I don't like about this, I would think they would add more to this because this is where your gas pedal hooks up to. They don't give you that part. It needs that little bump. I thought it would go to here, but it doesn't. So I guess I'll have to fabricate that. Uh, they give you an inner rocker, even though this comes with partial, but I don't know how, I don't know if I'm doing this right. You gotta drill it out. Doesn't make any sense. So I may just cut that up and what this doesn't cover, stick that in there. But I gotta get these bolts out. I already broke one off for that um, fender anchor right there, but no big deal. So I guess I'll get the cut in here, measure some stuff out and uh, see what needs to come out of here. So what I'll do is I'll, I'm gonna cut this a little short. I'm gonna rough it in right across here, even though it comes back to here somewhere, but I usually cut them a little short and then trim it in as I go. I guess somewhere down here, I'll just lay the piece in, use it for a template. That obviously here is gonna get the seam cut off. Um, it shouldn't be too bad. This is like paper thin right here. And then I gotta cut, drill all these spot welds out of this. This bolt's already undone. But uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me cut this in a little more. Let's see what I need to cut out. All right, so trying to get this inner inner fender out between these this rocker and um the uh rocker floor support and the uh the uh, a pillar bottom everything's spot welded we're having fun doing that i tr cleared some of this out so i don't get all hacked up doing this but uh it's going along and this is not fun luckily this this uh support is in good shape in this i just got to get the spot welds uh taken care of to get the pieces out then i can start to cut this out with my shear Man, this thing is in there. How many spot welds did you use, Mr. General Motors? My, 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 my. Yeah, there we go. Still half of it in there yet, or three quarters of it, but we'll figure it out. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Just the pieces that got to come out, too. You can't get no better than that. Wow. Hi, Miss Maggie. I love you, little Miss Maggie. We like peas and carrots, eh? Hmm? Yep. Don't mind the air chisel, but first firecracker goes off, 
you're running for the hills and you just run and run and run till you don't run and run no more <laughs> good girl Well, it got me that far, so that's fine. That's a start. I'll just go up this way. See what happens with that. That's some thicker metal. These things are dull. These are nice little shears. Cat makes them. Probably snap off. Uh, Chicago Electric made this one. This is a neat little machine. Um, you can break these off if you hit something big or harden. But uh, it does a real nice job uh, for shearing, cutting, whatever. You just gotta make sure you uh, add for this, you know, width right there if you're taking something off. Like I said, I'm just roughing this in so I don't go too far. So we just made a little slit there with the air chisel. So we have to get the rest of this off. Go from there. What you want there, my guy? Huh? Okay, so time to draw up the spot welds. There's 12 spot welds along this diagonal brace. Supports up to this bolt. Pull this bolt out and then we'll split this and cut all this out. And I think we're getting there. We're getting there. Then we can start trimming out, fine tuning where the pan's gonna go. So, see what happens. There's a will, there's a way. I'm gonna change it. Yo, watch yourself. Mm -hmm. How come this thing don't bother you? But fireworks go off and you're hiding in the corner. I don't know. Let's try this new bit here. I've had it, but it seems to work. Well, like, oh, I don't even know if this is the right one. Hmm. Uh-oh. I think I brought the wrong one. There we go. Maybe? I think that's backwards. Uh, go under? Ah, oh, it goes under. Unfortunately, I already started with my, sh my shears. Now it doesn't want to go the rest of the way through. It's like drawing a hole, drawing a hole with a hole saw and then trying to draw a bigger with another hole saw. It doesn't work like that. Let me go find a different bit. All right, this is my exhaust ripper. In case you don't see that, this one here. Yeah, I'm worried about catching this. So I'm gonna shear these off a little shorter. Let me move this out of the way, cause uh, I don't wanna break my drill. That's less that's in our way, so. Okay, this little air chisel is your friend. After you drill, or partially drill out the spot welds, that usually pops them really good. I just gotta grind these down, make it nice and clean. And it got, look at that, I actually saved this flange. I popped all those small popper, pop, or I'm sorry, um, spot welds down to here. I just gotta figure out where here I gotta cut off my my cutoff is somewhere in here somewhere up in here so I'm gonna rough this out again I'm gonna get this piece out of here and uh, we'll put some undercoating down inside here paint that up real nice so it's preserved because once this is closed up there's nothing you can do about it yeah this is uh, absolute absolute junk what do you think mag yeah I got screwdrivers in here trying to line this. This won't even go in there. I got this trying to line that, but there's a gap over here. There's no flange across here. This doesn't line up. There's a gap behind here. This don't look so bad. This is a big concern. These are a little longer, but I guess I can deal with that. What do you think? I think it's junk and I should have just bought 
from Eckler's or something instead of this. What was that? AMD. Somebody ranted and raved on the on the forums about AMD, AMD. Well, AMD. I think I ordered that piece for up there on the outside. One was back ordered, so I guarantee that's going to be junk. But everybody else was back ordered that part. You know that flange should have been on here. Sherman used to carry that piece. There shouldn't be a gap here. <sighs> I think I might just call it a night and just drop back and punt. Go get myself a beverage and watch some TV. I don't know. Okay, well, that Taiwanese junk AMD stuff is gone. Back to where it came from. I'm going to go back online. I guess I'm going to try to find Sherman or OER, whoever, uh, Eckler's or not. Yeah, it's Eckler's or Classic Industries is using. Um, I think the only reason I use AMD is because they only one who had this that wasn't back ordered. So. I'll wait for the back order. I'm not dealing with junk again. So this will conclude this uh, floor pan project and rocker panel for now. And uh, I guess we'll find something else to do. All right. So today, Sunday, I, since I'm not racing and the car still broke, I figured I would take the slats as Project 64 bed, good old Harbor Freight titanium. Uh, uh, ah, crap. Plasma cutter. Put all the bolts out of here because they're all carriage and you're never going to unbolt them. So, you know, throw all the rest of the wood out. I'll clean up all these cross rails and knock the rest of these out of here. Paint these up real nice. Scuff this whole thing here. Paint it blue. And I'm going to have to find some metal and, I mean, not metal, I mean, some wood slats. I'm gonna have to get a router or a table saw with a correct blade. I'm gonna try to make my own plates if if Maggie doesn't walk off with every piece of wood that's <laughs> over here. <laughs> oh, Maggie Mayhem, you're a mess. Oh, and you're peeing, okay. So yeah, um, we'll straighten that front bed panel out. We'll get this all straightened out, hopefully before the weather goes south on us and I gotta get this, uh, hammer this out, dolly this out, put these hooks back on, but I'm gonna sand this all down, do some body work, get it in primer, and uh, hopefully soon. So I'm working on these uh, hubs here on this placard, and I've been beating my head to death trying to get these pressed on piece of junk uh, hubs off these uh, axles this is what they're this is what they have it's a tapered shaft with a key and a hub on a drum and they're riveted in order to do the brakes you gotta pull it so that one there is giving me a lot of trouble I've had the old hot wrench on it and it don't seem to be working so I'm gonna give it a couple big swings with the BFH I just picked up and uh, it's either gonna break the puller or break me one of the two Hey, hey, UPS guy was here again today. Let's see what we got here. It's from Classic Industries. Need a razor blade. Ah, okay, we Invoice out here. Let's see here what we got today. Let me throw this where you guys can see it. I ordered uh, the right floor pan for the 64, Project 64 last night from OER from this company, Classic Industries. It's the right one, all the right pieces on it, all the right uh, flanges. I also got the, I guess it was the inner. I ordered the inner, which is no longer back ordered, inner windshield piece. Boy, they put these on here, guys. What in the world? Yeah. It's only supposed to be a cap, but I guess I didn't cut all the tape. Hmm. Try not to destroy the box in case you gotta send something back, you know? Yeah, no, this isn't working. Alright. Try to get in there. See that pot. That'd be too. Oop. 
Oh, that's not good. Be dropping stuff. Oh look, crumpled up paper. I didn't order that. And these are original repops. What is this? It is inner fender rear dust shield. Hope that's both. And whatever this is, I don't want to come out. I think this is that windshield lip. And I cannot get this. I'll tell you one thing, they do pack this stuff good. I'm trying to destroy everything to get it apart. It's caught in the box on something. Ooh. There it goes. All right. Yeah, this is that. This is called a windshield, upper windshield panel. I believe that goes. Wait, that looks like a lower pickup. Roof. All right, roof. How in the world does that go then? Is this the one? If it's the upper, I don't know, whatever. We'll figure that out. There's something else in this box. Ah! More toys. That must be. Pick up. Oh, heater gasket set. That's for the uh, deluxe heater box. And there's a box and a box and a box. Come on. Christmas in October. The box just gave birth to a box. And I dropped it on the floor. Oh, I know what this is. Blower, mu blower motor for the 66, which howls like a, a dying chicken or a cat or something. So let me uh, take a look at a few things here. Hello, ladies. Hi, Harley. What you doing, girl? We you doing, Maggie Mayhem? You guys playing being good? So for knocking stuff over. That's why Rottweilers don't have tails. They knock everything over. Oh, now, oh. Oh, that's going to be a mess. <laughs> All right, so you just leave it there, and I got to pick it up. Thank you. Oh. Yes. It's like having kids. Trust me. Just a little different, but not. All right, so this piece here. Um, no? Wait. Yeah, it's this right here. Okay, good. It gives you the lip and all. So I gotta split this somehow. Well, that's gonna be fun. So it's this piece, windshield lip, and the upper roof. And I have the piece for the inside coming too. So that's all pinch welding here. And uh, that's gonna be an interesting job. I'm gonna do that with the door off. So I ain't gotta fight the doors, and I'm gonna be grinding and welding and everything else in there. So. All right. This piece here is, I think they call a rheostat. What do they call this? Resistor. Blower motor resistor. This controls the speed of your uh, blower motor when you, you know, do the thing for the heater to make it go fast, slow, medium. Definitely needed that in a 64 because that motor was howling like a bunch of dogs. And uh, what did I do with that motor? Oh wait, it's underneath the camera. Durr. It's almost like open up gifts at Christmas. For me. The only gift I don't like opening up is the credit card bill at the end of the month. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, here we go. That's her, I hope. Looks like the right end. I don't know, well, I guess that's the vent or drain, whatever it's supposed to be, but there we go. I'm trying to try to put this in tonight. Cause I'm tired of hearing them freaking dogs underneath that dashboard. You know, and there's only one setting. Hi. And uh no. Let's see what other Christmas gifts we got here. These let's just thing open. No, turn them oh, turn the dang box up. I guess they glue them. So they know if you open them. I hope these are right. Man, that's a good glue. I gotta buy some of that. All right, so these, all right, this is the heater boxes. Well, that's some crazy foam. Man, if I had to roll the foam, I could cut that out myself. All right, so that goes to the deluxe heater for the Project 64. Because I have the heater box, but I'll take it back apart. It's already painted. I know I'm missing something here. Unless this has got all my seals, I think they missed something. It might be back ordered. Unless they put it all in here. These are, this, they could all be in here. If there's four pieces, then 
it's all four pieces. One, two, three, and four. Okay. These go in between the radiator support, radiator support, and the inner well, and the inner well and the cab. So I have to unbolt all that again and slip these in here. This keeps it from rattling, keeps the moisture out, all that good stuff. So I have to put this off the side for now, all right, Maggie? So um, once we get it done and get this back together, get everything mocked up, we'll go from there. Let's uh, check our. Let's make sure we have everything on our list here. Um, front fender inner dust shield check. Blower motor without AC check. Blower motor resistor check. Truck roof to windshield panel check. Complete heater gasket set. Awesome. Yes. Fun part is putting it together. The roof piece. Whew. Oh, 